Hey you, if you are considering getting a master's degree in artificial intelligence or in data science for decision making, we don't need to tell you that the future is data driven. Or how artificial intelligence continues to revolutionize industries. You already know that algorithms affect virtually all aspects of our lives. That computers predict what you would like to buy, see or hear next. And that policy decisions are informed by computer models of things like climate change and social behaviour. Instead, you want to know how we can help you master these disciplines. Maybe you're wondering whether pursuing a master's degree is worth it. Let's start with that final question. Sometimes uh, students and also parents ask me what is now the added value of doing uh, a master instead of going for a job immediately. Well, besides the fact that in a master you will get to know about all kinds of techniques and methods uh, that are the state of the art and will be the new uh, areas of uh, interest in the upcoming years, also in uh, the business area, you will also be forced to start thinking in a different way you were used to as in the bachelor. You will think on a more abstract uh, level, you will approach problems in a more and more sophisticated way than in the past. And that will help you also in your future career and also to make steps uh, when working for a company. Because you will be the person who will know techniques that nobody knows about, but also are able to approach new methods, new techniques in a new and a different way. What we do now is that uh, systems that are able to explain to humans why they came uh, to a particular decision uh, will be a main focus in the upcoming years. That also interact in a smart way with users. Uh, explaining why they made a particular decision is going to be a hot topic. Another hot topic is going to be so-called data fusion, that you take uh, information uh, sources like speech, text, uh, uh, audio, video and combine them in such a way that you can extract a new level of uh, information. Another uh, field of interest that is going to be a hot topic is going to be uh, smart robotics. So the, uh, robots that actually interact with the real world in a smart way. Uh, not only these robots you see at the conveyor belt huh? Uh, making a particular product, but also robots that can move around in the real world, also interact with uh, human beings. The future holds plenty of challenges for master's graduates who bring their expert level knowledge to the table. With that out of the way, let's turn to the main question. How can our master's programmes help you? We are Maastricht University, the most international university of the Netherlands. Above all, we are a student-centred university, which means that we put quality education and student needs first. Our teaching methods are unique within the Dutch academic landscape. Our department, the Department of Data Science and Knowledge Engineering, has been teaching and researching data science and artificial intelligence for around 30 years now. We offer two related yet distinct master's programmes, Artificial Intelligence and Data Science for Decision Making. If you decide to study with us, we'll teach you to understand on a fundamental level the techniques and tools of the trade. Both master's programmes follow a similar structure and use the same teaching method. They both draw from the fields of artificial intelligence, computer science and applied mathematics. The difference is in the focus. And here's why. If you're going to study uh, in our master programmes, uh, we always try to combine in any of these programs uh, computer science and mathematics. Which means that our students they can implement uh, data science and AI uh, technology, but also have sufficient uh, background to understand why these uh, methods actually work. I'd like to also to explain you a little bit what the difference of the master AI and the master data science for decision making is. Uh, of course, in both masters, uh, they have an overlap uh, regarding machine learning. Uh, the difference is that uh, in the master AI, we also look to all kinds of other aspects uh, where there's also not uh, data in involved when making smart decisions. But in the master AI, we also look to methods that rely less on data in order to make smart decisions. Moreover, in the master AI, you will also program uh, a, li a little bit more. We expect that you also know more a little bit about computer science. 
Whereas in the master data science for decision making, we also look to the mathematical methods behind the technology. Our artificial intelligence program enables you to design intelligent systems, so-called agents, which are capable of learning and autonomous decision making. You will also learn to apply these systems in order to solve complex problems efficiently and automatically. The Data Science for Decision Making program teaches you to extract useful information from large datasets. This includes identifying patterns and anomalies. We will provide you with the mathematical tools to model and handle this information. Apart from our state-of-the-art curricula, students enjoy the welcoming atmosphere and the many possibilities our department offers. We offer you an international environment, with around 75% of students and staff coming from abroad. Our students particularly appreciate our small-scale education, which offers you the opportunity to get up close and personal with industry and provides you with hands-on experience. This hands-on experience comes from our teaching method, which is called Project Centred Learning, or PCL in short. It's what sets our programmes apart the most. Through project-centred learning, you translate your knowledge to skills by working on real-life challenges. In the first year of our programmes, you will tackle two big projects and work as a group with around six other students. Together you solve real-world problems by using the knowledge you've picked up during your courses and from the practical skills classes we offer you. During the projects, you and your group are in charge. Just like in real life, everything from the solution and the code to the documentation and the project management is in your hands. Of course, we do help you achieve that. Throughout the projects, you are guided by an expert in the field. A tutor helps you with things like time management, group dynamics and progress monitoring. One of our researchers can tell you more about the projects. So when people ask how the obtained knowledge that students get in courses is used in these projects, the simple answer is of course that they learn to apply these techniques. But it's more than that, because through these applications, students actually learn about the benefits and the drawbacks of these techniques and they experience when to use which ones under which context. Example topics for the research projects in the master include things like traditional AI for games or comparing games to each other. Um, they can also deal with explainable AI, which is a hot topic at the moment. Uh, there have been projects on trustworthy predictions made by machine learning. Um, or for example, topics come in from other departments such as toxicology, where the goal was to make predictions about uh, substances and how humans would respond to them from, for example, tests and experiments they did on rats. Uh, another one that we're dealing with at the moment is an autonomously learned translator for sign language from videos where uh, somebody is actually yeah, using sign language to communicate. So how does it all tie in? The schedule for the first year roughly looks like this. It's possible to start either program in September or in February. Each year consists of two semesters, which are divided into three periods. In the first two periods of each semester, which last for around eight weeks each, you take two courses and work on the projects alongside. This schedule amounts to around 10 hours of classes every week, four hours to work on the project, and some 26 hours of independent study. The final period of each semester lasts three weeks and is fully dedicated to the project. The courses are divided in core courses, which are mandatory depending on your master's program, and elective courses, which you can mix and match to customise your curriculum. Our courses span the disciplines of computer science, artificial intelligence and applied mathematics. Through picking specific combinations of courses, you can specialise yourself. The Artificial Intelligence program allows you to become a machine learning expert or an intelligent systems developer, for example. Data science for decision making majors can, for instance, specialize as a data scientist or decision support expert. By the way, if you'd like to know more about exactly which courses we offer, please download the corresponding brochure from our website. Year 2 allows you to customize your curriculum even further. In the first semester, the choice is yours. Will you follow elective courses from other Maastricht University programmes? Will you take on an internship in a company or as a researcher? Or will you study abroad for a semester at one of our partner universities? The second semester is dedicated to your master's thesis. 
you choose the topic and supervisor for this final achievement, which can be within one of the excellent research groups our department offers, at a different faculty, or even at a company. Examples of thesis projects, um, they range from things such as how to deal with adversarial examples in, in deep learning classification. This is about um, algorithms that learn to predict what a camera sees, such as being used on a car to detect signs and traffic, etc. And the way to handle adversarial examples there. And what are these adversarial examples? They are ways of tricking the algorithm. And of course, a car and a car's camera, they need to be able to defend themselves against such attacks. Another thesis that I should mention is one that um, won the best AI thesis in the Benelux, and it was about uh, reinforcement learning. This is learning from experience and how to do this uh, over different environments. And the way this was approached by, was by mapping the dynamics of these environments into a common space and forcing the algorithm to merge the dynamics so that any results learned in one domain could be used in another domain. Graduating with a master's degree in data science for decision making or in artificial intelligence is just the beginning. The labour market's demand for data scientists and artificial intelligence experts is through the roof. Research and innovation hold important challenges set to shape our collective future. Where will you make the difference? You can find our alumni in a wide variety of job types, working in diverse fields ranging from healthcare to academic research, from robotics to logistics and from business analytics to the tech industry. Take some time to look at these companies and job titles. They are all real positions held by our master's graduates. Are you feeling excited about our master's programmes? If you want to enrol, you can find the most important information such as the registration deadline, entry requirements and program fees on our website. Whether you are directly admissible to the program of your choice or one of our pre-masters programs depends on your prior qualifications. For now you should know that when you apply you can find our masters programs listed under the Transnational University of Limburg. Maastricht University is part of this collaboration. Just like UM's other programs, the master's programs in data science for decision making and in artificial intelligence are fully taught at Maastricht University. You should also know that if you are a student coming from outside of the European Union or European Economic Area, we ask a handling fee for processing your application. When you come to study with us, the handling fee will be refunded to you. That's it from us. We'll leave the closing words to our Director of Studies. For whom are uh, our programs uh, a nice fit or uh, even the best fit? Uh, well, for students that actually want to develop uh, technology, we want to actually to push the state of the art. And the background that our students have is more also in, uh, for the master AI, more in computer science. Whereas in the master data science for decision making, it's also important that you have a solid foundation in uh, mathematics. Thank you. We hope to see you soon at one of our online events or in Maastricht. Thank you.